As a Kenya commemorates 14 years of the 2010 constitution, stakeholders including the Law Society of Kenya, religious groups and civil societies have warned against attempts by the political class to amend the law for selfish gains. They slammed the NADCO process that proposed entrenchment of new offices such as the office of the official leader of opposition and prime minister. The non-state actors lamented what they claimed as Katil of human rights freedom such as police use of extrajudicial force when dealing with protesters. As a teenager of 14 years, the constitution is below uh, the high expectation that we had, but is definitely doing better than the previous constitution. This level of public participation that we've seen in the people of Kenya should be encouraged and should not be fought, should not be met by impunity and abuse and misuse of police power and criminalization of the criminal justice system. This is an opportune time to remind the current government that we expect nothing short of complete compliance with each and every dictate of the constitution. The economy is going nowhere if court orders are not going to be paid. Investors will avoid a country whereby court orders are disregarded because they know that if they come into problems, it's the big man's word against their word, so who will put serious money there? I've gathered here, I've spent the entire day together with my comrades at uh, Central Police Station, ensuring and facilitating the release of 44 comrades who were picked off the street yesterday. And uh, some of them were arrested in a whole matatu, and uh, some were brutalized, as you saw. I can have Professor Ogola and Comrade Modiora and Comrade Gesore.